If you want to transform your Android device, whether it's a phone or a tablet, into a full-fledged TV receiver, keep on watching this video. I'm going to show you how to do this with an inexpensive device from GT Media, which is the HD TV receiver. So I'm going to show you how to connect this device and what you need to install on your Android phone or tablet. So for you to be able to receive over the air channels using this HD TV from GT Media, I'm going to also be showing you how to configure it and we'll be testing it. So now let me bring the camera up close to show you what comes in its box. So this is everything you get in the box. You have the HD TV receiver. You have USB A to USB C extension cable to connect the device to your Android device. And also you have a USB A to USB A extension cable and you have a user manual. For the specifications of this HD TV receiver, so this is a 4K receiver. It can receive channels that are ATSC 1.0 and 3.0. It doesn't have DRM decryption, so the channels that are encrypted will not be received with this TV receiver. It also has a TF card slot here because it works also as a DVR and the port is USB 3.0 and this is the antenna end port. So to connect it, you need of course an external antenna. I'm gonna connect it now. So this is the external antenna. You simply put it here like that and then you screw it in and it will be connected. Now to connect it to my Android device, I'm going to use USB-A to USB-C extension cable because my Android phone is a Samsung that has USB-C connection. So you plug it in like this and on your phone, you plug it here in the phone. Of course, when you plug it in the phone, you cannot charge the phone at the same time. And you know that this device also consumes battery. So it's going to consume a little bit more the battery of your phone. After you connect the HD TV receiver to your Android phone, you need to go to Play Store and install an application called HD TV from GT Media. So search for HD TV and then here it is here, HD TV player and then select install. And when it is installed, you can choose to open it from here or you can find it also on your home screen. So here it is, I'm going to open it and I'm going to put the phone horizontally because the application is horizontal. When you first launch the application, it will ask you to give it permissions. So tap on OK. After you select, always do this. And here's like scenarios on how to set it up. I'm going to tap on Exit. And now it will tell you there are no channels found. You want to do a full scan. So I'm going to select OK. And now it will go and search for the channels. So now the scan finished. It took approximately 10 minutes and it found 10 channels. Of course, the number of channels that you will find will depend on the quality of the reception of the area that you're in. So I'm going to tap on save and exit now. So now to switch between channels, you have two options. Either you tap on the screen and you choose the channel here. Or you can also swipe up or down. So if I swipe up, it will go to the next channel. And if I swipe down, it will go to the previous channel. And you notice that changing the channel isn't really very slow. So it is good. It buffers just a little bit and then it switches the channel. So I muted the sound here on purpose so that it doesn't distract us in this video. But the sound is good. Let me now show you the menu. If you tap on the screen, you have the menu that will appear here. So you have channel list, channel scan. If you want to force a channel scan, you can do it here. So you can force a full channel scan or manual or so on and so forth. If you go to settings, you have the first option to hide and show the channels you want. Time settings, it will follow by default the network time settings. I'm going to leave it as it is. Now for the captions, you can put it on or off. So if you put it on, of course, you're going to have the captions. So you have the audio also. You can change the audio if you want here. If the channel you're watching has many tracks, and you have personalization in case you want to change, for instance, the decoder to make it a hardware decoder. But I'm going to advise you to leave it as it is. And then here you have something called one step. So this is a convenient way to go to the menu directly here. If you want to change something, you can restore the settings and you can go back to the first initial settings. Now you have something here called DVR. So for the DVR, it should record the channel that you're watching. You need to insert the TF card in the slot here of the machine. 
So you insert it this way and you push it in. It clicks in place. And now you can press the DVR menu to record the channel. But in my case, it wasn't working. So I contacted the support of GT Media and they sent me a new APK. So a new application that they are working on now, but I couldn't install it. It also gave a problem. So it is good to know that they are working on the application, but this is something in my opinion that should be corrected very quickly. Just before telling you what I like and what I don't like in this HD TV receiver, I wanted to let you know that it was sent to me free of charge by GT Media so to test it, but the opinions you saw in this video and you're gonna see in a bit are only mine. No one reviewed this video before I posted it and I wasn't compensated to make it. So now let me tell you what I like and what I don't like in this device. I like the fact that it is small, it is affordable, it has 4K output, and it has a good picture quality. I also like the fact that it has ATSC 1.0 and 3.0 receivers in it. Now, what I don't like about it is first that it runs only on Android devices. So whether it is a TV box or a car DVR, so it doesn't run on Windows until now, and it doesn't run on iOS. I also don't like the fact that the DVR function didn't work in it. And also I don't like the fact that sometimes the application blocks. So the TV tuner keeps on running and you keep watching the channel, but you cannot go to settings, you cannot change channels and you cannot do anything. So you have to restart the application for it to work. Now, maybe they will correct this in a future update. Hopefully they will do. Now, when it comes to DRM decryption, it's not a big issue in my opinion, because most channels now are not encrypted yet. And given also the low price of this device, if they want to include the DRM decryption, the price of this device will be much higher. If you want to check out this device, I'm going to leave a link in the description. If you make a purchase using my link, I will gain a small percentage at no cost to you, and this will support my channel. I want to thank you all for watching, and I hope that you enjoyed this video and you found it useful. In case you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. See you in the next video.